always try to use the kiosk if you can. Here I'm talking about when you get in the airport, you may have a bunch of kiosks in front of the check-in counter or uh, at custom, when you arrive, you may not necessarily need to talk to a custom agent or you may, maybe you'll just show them a piece of paper once you pass through the kiosk. Now, the kiosk is easy to use. You're going to put your passport in. They're going to ask you a few questions. It's basically next, 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 and that's it. If you can install a software on your computer, if you can install an app on your phone, you are able to use a kiosk, no problem. Now, where the only two exceptions that I say don't use the kiosk, first because maybe you can't or because it's not practical. First is if you travel in business class because you'd have benefit and other things and also there's no line, so go direct to the counter. If you travel in business or first class, don't bother with the kiosk. The second one is if you're from a country that always need visa to travel to where you need to travel because very often, unfortunately, the kiosks are not designed uh, to handle visas. So you're going to put, let's say, your Chinese passport and automatically the kiosk is going to freeze and tell you, go see an attendant uh, or please uh, scan the page of your visa and then you're going to try to scan the page and it's complicated or um, sometimes also kiosks can be stupid. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, People can be stupid too. Um, like my wife, for example, just left uh, Jamaica a few days ago to go to Europe. She's Vietnamese. She does not have a, um, a visa for Europe. She has a visa for the US. That was fine. So the girl let her be, but she refused to print her boarding pass for Europe. But she has a United Nations laissez-passer, which is more, pa more powerful than any other visa you could have for Europe. But the girl didn't know. The kiosk had no way to recognize the laissez-passer either. They don't know. So what happened? Well, then she had to deal with that in the U.S., where in the U.S. the person knew what she was doing, and that's it. So honestly, untrained people and stupid kiosks are common. And I would say that, I said that in another video when I was talking about airport check-in, do verify everything. Okay, check everything. They print you a little boarding pass, okay, from the kiosk. They print you a, a destination slip. They'll print you a receipt. I want you to take them and I want you to check them out. Okay, take your passport, look at your passport number, look at the boarding pass, look at your name. Is it written the right way? Is it written the right, uh, especially if you're Asian, because you, your first name, last name might be reverse, um, your middle name and something like that. Uh, and again, check also your passport number, the gate, check everything, okay? Is, it the, is the seat allowed? All of you, are you all of you together in different seats? Is it the seat that you'd plan? Check everything because once you leave and then after that, it becomes complicated. And don't assume the machine or don't assume the human has done the job properly and don't assume there's not any mistake. If mistakes often happen, I see them all the time. I travel a lot, I grant you, but I see mistake all the time and the minute that you have a mistake you have to correct it now because correcting it after takes quite a bit more time.